All right, number patterns. Now, today's lesson deals with patterns. I love the patterns. <laughs> now, just like my two-year-old notices when my newborn starts crying, we go to him right away to take care of his needs. My two-year-old wants something. We don't go to him right away. Guess what he learned to do? He learned to cry because he saw the pattern of my little one crying. We go to the little one and help him out. The two-year-old is like, huh, if I start crying, they'll help me out. So even a little child understands how to work a pattern. And the whole point of math is this. This is like the basics of mathematics. You see a pattern and you take advantage of a pattern. In this case, we're dealing with number patterns. How many do you see here? One. All right. How many do you see there? Three. All right. How many do you see here? Two. Four. Six. All right. What do you think the next number is going to be over here? So you said this was a 1, this was a 3, this was a 5, 7. Oh, so you're, going to see, you're already seeing a pattern. What do you, so this is a 2, this is a 6, All right, you already see a pattern here, don't you? So I'm going to ask you, what types of numbers are these? Okay, odd numbers and even numbers. Eyes up here, folks. So we already have some kind of pattern there. We know that the next number is going to be 7, the next number is going to be 8. If I were to continue on with this pattern, what do you think the next number would be there? 9. Nine. So you don't need to draw pictures anymore. The next one, I'm going to draw 10 dots. I don't need to draw pictures anymore. You got yourself a pattern. Triangular numbers. How many dots do you see right there? One. Now to make a triangle, I'm going to need how many more? How many dots are there? Three. All right. To make a triangle, how many would I need under that? Three. So how many dots are there? Six. What do you think the next one's going to be? Well, let's find out. You know you got your one, two, three, four, five, six. How many next? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So there are going to be numbers there. Now, the thing is, how can you find a pattern for this guy? And I'll give a little hint. We know that this is our first number. This is our second number. This is our third number. This is our fourth number. How would I figure out the fifth number, can you find, instead of drawing a picture, can you find a pattern and use that to figure out what this would be? Yes. Ah, so it looks like when you're adding five to this. So you're saying there's going to be 15 there. All right, and let's see if you're right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to put, and if you take a look, in the first number, there's one on the bottom. For the second number, there's two on the bottom. For the third number, there's three on the bottom. For the fourth number, there's four on the bottom. For the fifth number, so 10 plus 5 is 15. There you go. So we got ourselves a pattern. We're taking advantage of that. So that way, you don't need to worry about drawing pictures anymore. You use the pictures to start you off. Then after you look at the patterns of the pictures, you don't need to draw them anymore. Just like my, my two-year-old, he looks at the little one and says, well, I don't need to test and see anymore. I see all the time that he cries, so I'm just going to start crying. I'm taking advantage of this pattern that mommy and daddy does. All right. Let's start off with this one dot again. That's our first number. I'll even write, that's the first number right there. We'll call these square numbers because... When you put it together, the shape makes a... Wow. 
All right, so this is my second number. My third number, let's see, if I had three going across, I need three going up and down, correct? So how many dots is that? Any idea what the next number would be? 16. It would be 16 because you would do 4 and then the 4, so it would be like 4 times 6. Ah, so you're looking, so you're thinking there's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, but then you'd have 4 going up also. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, yep, 16. So you already found the pattern. You just say whatever this number is, just do 4 times 4. So the next one, if I were to go all the way, and now you figured out a pattern, so I could figure out what the 20th one would be. Do I need to write 20 dots going across and 20 dots going up? No. What, how many dots are going to be for the 20th one? How do I figure out what the 20th one is going to be? Yeah, you just do 20 times 20. Four with two zeros. So there are 400 dots for that one. So you took advantage of the pattern. You used what you knew about the pattern, and now you can figure out anything with that pattern. Like in this one, Alex was able to figure out this was 15. The next one is going to be 15 plus 6, which is 21. So you can figure out a sequence. Let's see. Can you figure out the next three digits in that sequence? Yes, in the back, with the shaved head on the sides. <laughs> you only raise your hand. How'd you get 15? All right, so you're saying to go from here to here, you added two. Then three plus six. No, three plus three is six. Oh, so you had to add three to go there. Six plus four, ten. Oh, so how'd you get 15? Because you added three plus three is six. Then three plus six is six. Then three plus five is six. Then three plus five is six. Oh, so how do you get from there to there? Ten plus five is sixteen. Very good. And then? All right, very good. All right, here's the first pattern. How many sticks are in the first pattern? And the next one has those three in it, plus those guys. How many are there? The next one has that, that, and that. Seven. Now, I want you to see if you can figure out the rest of them. What are the next two going to be? Are you sure about that? All right, so you're saying, how are you getting 9 and how are you getting 11? Yes, ma'am. Let's see, you go from there to there, you add 2. Go to there to there, add 2. And if you take a look at it, how many are here? Three. And then you look, there are the three, and then I added two, yes? So I have five. Now if I look, here are the five. One, two, three, four, five. And how many matchsticks did I add? I added two. So it looks like the next one's going to be nine, and the next one's going to be 11. So it might look like the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, I guess so. Or you could put it up here, I guess. Eight, nine, even make it look like that. And the next two will have 11. Good job. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, watch this one. For my latest video, watch this one. To subscribe, hit the subscribe button right here. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs>